let's dissect into various kinds of gaps that we could have. Gaps can occur at the back of the vocal cords. They can occur between two segments of the vocal cord. I'll call those split gaps. They can occur in the middle or they can occur in the front or anterior. Let's take a look at some samples. Here's what posterior gaps would look like. They occur when the vocal cords don't come all the way together. And there could be several reasons why they don't come all the way together. Paralysis or weakness, the person has muscle tightness, doesn't quite bring the vocal cords together. Some samples of split vocal cords. These are all people who have some sort of swelling of the vocal cords. These would be considered polyps or nodules. And when you have these, they can split the vocal cords into front and back segments. And you have two places where air can leak out. Here's some examples in motion. Central gaps occur when there is some sort of weakness. So if the vocal cords are bowed or thin and they don't come together all the way, again, we're looking at the black hole in the middle. This person has a paralyzed left cord and we see the air leaking out. So anytime we can see black during a whole cycle, we're getting air leak. And in this case, it's from the center. Here's a person with bowed vocal cords. The lower you go in pitch, the less tightness there is on the vocal cords, the shorter they get, the bigger the gap, the more air leak there is with a central gap. We can also have a central gap, and I'll call it a timing issue, and that's where the vocal cords may look like they're closing, but they're actually oscillating so far out of phase that there's a continuous stream of air. And so the vocal cords, even though they're overlapping each other, they never quite touch and air comes out continuously. And there can be an issue with vertical alignment. If one vocal cord is lower than the other, they look like they're coming together, but in fact the air is coming and circulating out between them. So appears to be closed, but this left vocal cord is lower than the right. And we can hear that in the person as the And we can have anterior gaps. These are pretty unusual. This person had a surgery and the front of the vocal cords are no longer together. So even though he's able to bring the back together, we have a continuous air leak up front. And we hear that quality. So there's our type of gaps. Um, any of those cause air leak, husky hoarseness, or white noise.